We had arrived in Sweden, and after having spent the first couple of days up in the archipelagos and explored Dockholm, let's just say it's getting really competitive. With the help of a friendly pub crawl, we now found ourselves in Gothenburg. Good morning from Gothenburg. Good morning, Vietnam. <laughs> so, we have arrived in Sweden. It's been like, what, four days, five days? We arrived on the Friday night, Tuesday night. And it is Wednesday today, so we've almost been here for a week. So here we are in Gothenburg, and we just had a fikta this morning, which is when you take time out of your day to sit down and share a cup of coffee with friends, colleagues, did it with this guy. I uh, usually you also have something to eat, which we didn't do, but anyways, more fictas to come in our future. Um, so what I'd like to accomplish for our last week in Sweden is I would love to, well in Gutenberg, I'd love to go check out Hega, which is the old town here in Gothenburg. And of course, have a fikta, because apparently that is the thing to do when you're in Gothenburg, and have a sweet treat with our coffee. And then I'd also like to see an IKEA. I mean, we're in Sweden. And the meatballs and IKEA. Oh, so this guy, meatballs and IKEA. That's another goal we're going to put out there. Um, fishing, I think that's also happening. Oh, and maybe a night out. A night out would be fun. But anyways, that's the update. That's what we're up to. And now I've got to put this phone away because my arm is getting sore. Over and out. Oh. Flotation device. Safety. Safety. Our first day in Gothenburg turned into an adventurous one. Introducing the crew, Jackson, featured in our last episode, where we had a friendly competition so in he Stockholm. Won. He rigged it. He rigged it. He's also Jay's childhood friend and hosting us here in Gothenburg. Meet Marcus, a local Swede all-round good guy and captain of the ship. And of course, there was us, geared up and ready for an exhilarating adventure. Today's mission, to catch mackerel. After a successful day of catching a variety of different sea life, we set our sights on an island. Where have we arrived? To the island of dreams. I don't know. But this is, this is, we're just about to have a picnic on this island. And it's also the summer holidays. There's heaps of people out here. We just need to find a lighter. We don't have a lighter. It's a barbecue. But no lighter. Got the lighthouse there, a picnic spot there, and I think Jay got lucky possibly and found us a lighter. Did you get lucky, my love? Oh, you got matches! Sweet! So what island is this? Vinga. Vinga. Thank you, Vinga, for your hospitality. We enjoyed it. Cool little place. Very cool. Look at these cool little boats. Very cool. I feel like I'm in uh, Yacht Week in Greece. Nice, well done. 
successful day. And that is a wrap on today. Oh baby, fresh macro cook today. Buy this one. And that's all. And Marcus, so thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Marcus, for taking us on your boat. It was an amazing time. We loved it. And now we get fresh fish. So, in my opinion, no trip to Sweden Woo! is complete without a trip to IKEA. <laughs> I'm quite excited. This is your first experience, Bob. You have no idea. I think Jay and Jackson think I'm a little crazy, but here's the thing. We're in Sweden, and what comes from Sweden? And as an interior designer, I'm kind of excited about it, even though it's cheap as ships. Ikea. We're home, well, the home country of Ikea. Now I need to find the boys. This was also Jay's first time ever being in Ikea. Ooh, so are we gonna first go view the showroom and then eat? Yeah. That sounds like a great, Great idea. This is one excited lady. This is one excited lady, and I get to share that experience with you. IKEA in Sweden. Woo! Garbage underneath. Quite cool. I feel like this is good ideas for a tiny home build. Uh -huh. Look, look at that. How practical. Jotunberg. That's where we're staying. They've got a print of it. How cool. Sophie in a happy place. IKEA has not quite made it to New Zealand yet. Look at that. That's cool. So, I had to demonstrate the art of an IKEA trip to him. Oh, oof, that's a bright light. <sighs> Maybe not as comfortable as the last one. Oof. Yeah, I think this one's my favorite. <sighs> that's pretty comfortable. He caught on. How's the bed? Maybe a bit too well. And of course, we're gonna have to do the culinary experience. Cause that's what you do when you come to Ikea. Checking off a visit to Ikea in Sweden for my bucket list was satisfying. Is. Yeah, Ikea eats, full experience. But savoring the Swedish meatball with Jay How's it going? was an added delight. Get Swedish meatballs. One in Sweden. Mm. What did I do? Yeah. Milkman also got them. Yeah. After getting fishing in IKEA out of the way, it was time to return our attentions to exploring Gothenburg. Now, if you've been watching us long enough, you may have picked up on the fact that we are big foodies. So of course, Jackson had to share this little gem with us. Oh my god, this looks so good. We have come to Jinx. They have a food truck, which I filmed earlier, um, outside the bakery that we're, we were at. And they also have a restaurant. So this is the restaurant, and this comes highly recommended from our buddy Jackson. So, Got some kimchi fries and then some sort of bowl with barbecue stuff on it. I can't remember, but anyways, I'm looking forward to trying it. What was the bowl again? A bowl? That's, yeah. Uh, something like that. Yeah, 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 but what was it? Funny guy. We got the Korean barbecue bowl. So, it had barbecue pork, Korean barbecue pork on like a rice dish. Hey, they just gave a complimentary scoggin. How good. So here we have the barbecue pork, Korean pork, with fresh coriander, and insane pickle. Got the scoggin, a lot of fries, which is, looks insane. The kimchi fries, and the chicken sandwich. Wow. And here we have a happy Jackson, a happy Sophie, and a happy Jay. After a delightful feast, it was time for a leisurely walk. This park, situated in city center, provided the ideal setting for that.
What are we off to see? The mace. That's plural for mooses. <laughs> but first, seals. Oh. So let's make like a seal in. No. So we found it. Well, we've been looking for this whole time. The elusive meese. G'day mate. G'day mate. Threw me off just a little bit as we were reading the sign about the moose. It said Swedish elk and I was like, that doesn't look like an elk to me. Anyways, a little, little bit of research. The Swedes call them an elk. Rest of the world call them a moose. Not confusing at all. So this right here is the fish church, which I uh, read up about and it was like the must-see place when you're in Gothenburg, but obviously it's temporarily closed, so not doing it on this trip, but maybe next time. So if you're ever in Gothenburg, go check it out for me and leave a comment below and tell me how it was, because I would have loved to go see it, but that's okay. I think it's time for a beer though. What do you reckon? All right. So we made it to a little bar called Zero Zero after watching the Miss, aka the Miss. Cheers! And they brew their own beers, it's quite good. Although we did not have luck viewing the fish market, we did end up seeing another market the following day. This is totally our scene. How have we not been here yet? Didn't know about it. Yeah, we didn't know about it. Good thing for... It's a case of don't know, you can't do it. And big reason to do a walking tour. And also a good reason to do a walking tour because otherwise we wouldn't have known about this. Oh, look at that. This place is cool. If you ever plan on doing a walking tour, learn from our mistakes and do it at the start of your trip. Anyways, our tour ended in the historical area of Gothenburg, in a spot I had been very excited to see, Haga. That thing is massive. Hold it up to your head. Oh, well, here's to a good fika. Wow. Apparently, if you're gonna do a fika, this is the place to do it. Because those things are massive. Mm, look at them. And just like that, our time in Sweden had come to an end. If you enjoyed what you saw and you'd like to follow us along, be sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video. So long!